there's this concept that I've been, I've just noticed has had such an impact with my audience and like at live events and stuff like that. But it's this idea of understanding self versus other. So self versus other, I think a lot of times what happens in the spiritual community is we get people that are very empathic, people that can feel other people's energy, very green type thing, right? But you could feel other people's energy. And sometimes what happens is there is sometimes something from childhood that happened where there was a feeling of maybe it's not safe when I was a kid. So as a survival mechanism, we then gain this ability to empathically really tap into other people. Whereas certain level of empathy is healthy, I believe, of course. The other side of that, of course, is narcissism, which is very much a lack of empathy. Um, but there's this one concept or this one thing that I've noticed like has helped so many people and it has to do with understanding being in your own frame being in your own frame of reality and understanding a healthy connection between self versus other. So what happens is when we look at this of, let's say like a lot of empaths will attract themselves to narcissists. It's this like attraction where empaths and narcissists tend to attract each other. And what happens is they're opposite sides of the spectrum. So empaths, have a lot of where they can feel other people's energy. There are a lot of other. They can feel other people's energy. And a lot of times it's like, I must kind of like mitigate myself to help other people feel no tension so they can feel a certain way. And there's this like big openness. On the other side of that, they tend to attract narcissists. Narcissists are very much all about self. They're all about me. They will manipulate things in order to get reality to be the way they want and manipulate people to get them what they want, which ultimately a lot of times is a deeper, they want to feel validated or they want the reality to be validated. And they're kind of like brushing up against maybe a form of abandonment wound. On the other side of that though, it's a similar wound. It's just the difference between an empath and a narcissist is the empath is I will give by being very empathic and being very open in order to get validation, approval, or the safety of someone else's frame. Whereas the narcissist says, I will take, I will take it and use it. And I, you will, I will manipulate your gaslight you in order to get it. They're both in order to get their needs met though. So one thing that I wanted to share is around a very simple process that people can use in order to, in a way, individuate from mom and dad. Because what happens is as empaths, a lot of times there was a feeling of not individuating it, not being safe to be different as a kid, not being safe to have your own perspectives, your own opinions. So then what happens as a little kid, your energy fields expands to include mom and dad. So that then it's like, if mom and dad are happy, then I feel safe. So then you go through life and it's like, is everyone else good? Because otherwise I can't feel safe. And that's when an empath then has the troubles because then they can't set boundaries. They don't know where they begin and where they end. They don't know what they are allowed to say no to. Um, and they're, they're super afraid to like give tension. But a very powerful practice to do is to bring the energy back inside of the body and to actually focus on the separation between you and another object. So the frame technique is something that I've shared on YouTube. I have a YouTube video on it. I've had people at live events that have told me the craziest stories. This one lady stood up at my last live event and said that she did, she was going through a divorce with a narcissist who they have a kid together and he was threatening her. He was like, listen, I'm gonna take the kid. I'm gonna take the house. You're gonna be nothing, blah, 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 blah. And normally her past self would kind of like crumble and be like, okay. For her doing the frame technique, feeling inside of her body and feeling the separation between her and a candle flame, feeling that safety inside of her body and like being in her own frame, she said what happened is within a month of doing that, she was in her own power. She went and told this the, the, the guy that she was with that she was gonna divorce from, you can do all of this. I will take you to court. I will do blah, 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 blah. And she like stood up for herself. And he then just completely surrendered and was like, I'll make, the, I'll make it easy for you. Like it completely switched her dynamic around because she stood up in her own power instead of being allowed to be gaslit or abused by some narcissistic dude. And he came from her being in her own frame and feeling the separation between her and a candle flame, her and the person. So much in spirituality is like, we're all connected. We're all one consciousness. And while that is true, what empaths need to hear sometimes is that you are all connected, but also you are an individual. And if you didn't properly individuate from mom and dad as a kid, you may be still tuned to mom and dad and you may be attracting people in your life that reflect back that energy. So individuating is about tapping into your own body. It's about feeling and asking yourself, who am I? What do I want? What am I passionate about? What do I value? 
Do I want to go to this party? Do I want to do this thing? Is this, how does this feel for me? Because so many empaths don't tap into their body, they tune to other. So the frame technique is really simple. Stare at a candle flame. On the in-breath, what you do is you take a deep breath in, and as you do, you focus on the separation between you and the flame, and you focus very intently on the flame. And on the out-breath, when you let go, you then keep your eye on the flame, but you focus on the peripheral. So you just kind of soften your gaze to focus on the peripheral. And you wanna think of like there's ones and zeros, kind of like the matrix. There's ones, one is self, one is self. And think of like one inside the flame and then zero everywhere else. And as you soften the gaze, you start to feel safe within your own body. You start to feel the brim of your body and other people. And instead of that flame, you can imagine someone else. You can imagine a person and literally like clearing your energetic cords and like feeling the, the separation between you and them, you start to feel safe inside your own body. As you feel safe in your own body and you feel the emotions that come up, you start to be more in tune with who you are as an individual. You start to be in your own frame of reality. When you're, on, when you're in your own frame of reality, you're more magnetic, you're more confident, it's easier to set boundaries. You don't feel guilty for what other people want you to do or you don't feel guilty for setting boundaries because you realize that's their stuff, not yours. You realize that there's a separation here that you never knew was there because in childhood, your energy field expanded to include everybody. So the frame technique is probably the thing that when I do meet people or do live events that like is so surprising to people because it's such a simple practice, but it's feeling the separation between you and a flame. And as you do that, or you and a person or you and an object could be anything, it could be a glass of water. But as you do that, you start to feel safe in your own body. And as you feel safe in your own body, you notice that you, you start existing differently in the world. I remember when I first did this, I was in Sedona and I went for a hike and I, I started becoming aware of this. This is like two years ago when I was like shedding that people pleaser mentality that I got like from my dad's side of the family. And I'd walk around and I, I noticed that walking on this hike, like there was this part of me that's like, felt like I had to greet people to say hi, because like, that's what you do, right? And there was, I, I started to become aware of, the, of that pattern within myself. I'm like, if I don't feel like saying hi, and I know it's the nice thing to do, but I, I was like, I don't wanna be nice. I wanna be kind if it feels authentic, but there's times I don't feel like doing that. What I would do is I would walk and as I was passing people, I just feel safe in my own body. I'd feel the separation between me and them. It's crazy, the, kind, the way people respond to that. Like people are like, it's like, it's magnetic. Um, when I first le learned like the side of this as well, I went to a place in Costa Rica f back in 2017 before I was really getting on YouTube and stuff. And there was this teacher that was talking about energy. She was like a, a doctor that had a TED talk and she was teaching about energy. And she did this thing at the front of the room where what she did is she had everyone send energy to the front of the room, send energy to the front of the room, send energy to the front of the room. And as people would do that, she's like, you could feel like you wanna back up. It's like repulsive. She says, okay, now everyone bring the energy back into your body, bring it back into your body, bring it back into your body. And as she do that, she said, you could feel this, this like magnetized energy back into the crowd where she like could feel a gravity into the crowd. And I always remembered that, that always stuck with me. And now the frame technique is so related to that, but I do these at my live events and I have people like get into groups to do this with each other. And it's just so magnetic to do that because then you start feeling safe in your own body you are more magnetic, you know who you are, you choose your own values, you aren't feeling guilty for other people's emotions and stuff because you realize it's not your job to regulate other people's nervous systems. And as you do, you then start, and ironically, as you realize it's not your job and you start to regulate your own nervous system, that's how you regulate other people's nervous systems. You just, you're, you're calm, you're in your own energy, you're in your own frame. So that's one of the thing I wanted to share because it's probably the thing that's so simple that I've seen change so many people's lives that I think could add value to people just by simply focusing on a candle, feeling the separation on the in-breath, and on the out-breath, feeling the oneness and the connection in the peripheral.